Yeah. All right, it's the skin coming off the chicken. I should be eat. I wonder if the chicken was a female chicken. Oh, it's a cock. Anybody know about chicken? That there's there's male cock. What's the, what's the what's the male version of the chicken call? <laughs> What's the male version of the chicken skull? <laughs> in Jamaica, in Jamaica it's called something else. What's the <laughs> This says my dad or rooster. Rooster. Hen. Oh fucking hell. Hen. I mean Cassie. Cassie. Cassie, I think you need to go back to school. Because I just asked you what the male version of the chicken is called and you told me it's a hen. Now, Cassie, I think me and you, to be honest, I will accompany you back to school. We both go back to fucking school together. Because... Foul. Me and you is in the same, uh, 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 same situation. We we'll both will copy from each other. If me and you go back to school, I think me and you will sit there together and we'll sit back in grade one. We start from fucking grade one. And five year pass will still be in grade one, Cassie. Let's be honest. Because me and you are fucked. Because if I ask you what's the, 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 the opposite of an end and you, of, a, of a chicken, a female chicken, and you tell me to end, Cassie, might as well we both go back to school. Let's be honest. And to be honest, about the, when the teacher give us, give us the answer to the question or ask us a question, I think we both will be copying from each other. Because some of you does copy a lot, you know? When you don't know the answer to stuff, back in school you used to look over and see if you could see the answer. That's why they used to separate you in class. You know? That's why they used to separate all of, watch the chicken. Okay. That's why they used to separate some of you in class. You know? Because some of you used to copy a lot. And some of you used to ask friends to help you with the work. Let's be honest, how much of you used to do that? Get friends to help you with the work. Some of you used to struggle in school. Some of you didn't even get to school because when you should be going to school, you have your little boyfriend. You have your little boyfriend and you bunk off school and go on with your little boyfriend, go and smoke and go and drink. Huh? And when lunchtime comes, some of you get your little boyfriend and you, your little boyfriend would fill up your little pum pum and all this type of thing that you, you know you, you get up to. Some of you get up to no good. And then you realize that you should have done more in school, in it. Some of you get up to no good and then you realize that, oh, you know what? I wish I did pay more attention in school. You was paying attention to Willie, let's be honest, and having little boyfriends. I've seen some of these kids these days, 14 year old, 12 year old, walking up the high street, with arms in arms with these little boys, girls. I'm not even blaming the boys as much. I'm blaming the girls because they're going up the high street. I'm thinking, well, MK, you can't even get a big woman. And these kids are going up the high street. Looks like they're married couple. That's what it looks like that they're married couple. Because these kids, their poor parents don't even know what they're getting up to. You understand? And these kids, a past couple of them sitting underneath the bus stop smoking. And I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck kids are these? Sorry for my language on this Sunday. But I see them underneath the bus stop sitting there smoking and I'm thinking... Whose kids are these? This is what I walk past them, I look at them. Then you've got the one them in the short skirt. I don't know how come some of you let your kids come outside in them little skirts. You know, little mini skirt look like they're on the runway. I'm thinking, where are these? I know some of these kids, they will pull down their, pull down, uh, roll up their skirt when they come through the door. You understand? But sometimes you have to pay attention, you know, come out one morning and follow, walk down the road and see what they're doing. Jump in the car, jump in the car and drive and don't let them know that you're following them and see what they get up to. You understand? I think that's the best way to, to, to realize what your kids is doing. You know, sometimes surprise them, go and pick them up. Don't let them know that you're picking them up. Just go and surprise them and just drive. Don't even let them come in the car outside the school gate. Just drive behind them for a bit or if you can walk behind them, walk behind them. Don't let them see that you're following them and see how long it takes them to get home. See what they get up to on the way home. 
because you sitting there thinking your, your kids is going to school and coming home and your kids ain't going to school and he ain't coming home when he's supposed to because they're outside smoking and having up their little boyfriends and kissing up on road and hugging up and holding hands and up in alleys and up in little bushes and whew. oh my god if one day i see my daughter coming down the road with a little boyfriend holding hands and this and that oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god I mean, this is why you need to let them know from early that what boys are about. As I says, I've got three girls, so I have to let them know what boys is about. Because boys, they're sometimes they're after one thing. Okay? One thing. I told my daughters them this. I said, listen, I don't want to see you with any boys. I don't want to hear of any boys. I don't want to meet any boys. Because boys are after one thing. Okay? You can have, you can have a friend. But make sure that it's a friend and nothing else. Your education come first. I, I can't imagine my little daughter about you. Daddy, daddy, I would like you to meet my boyfriend. His name is Philip. Okay, me and you, me and you and Philip, we're all going to see Jesus. I tell you straight, I can't imagine my daughter telling me at age 15 or 16 or even 5 or 6 or 11 that dad this is my boyfriend Philip me and you and Philip we all going to see Jesus <laughs>